This is my new Frontline Arcade rotary switch. It's like the other ones with the, you know, uh, eight position um, holder. It's got the, you know, uh, leaf switch to fire. <clears throat> this one has uh, bronze bushings, quarter inch long, solid stainless steel shaft. So it's um, tougher than my uh, miniature models um, and almost as strong as the full size. Um, I have some extra holes in here for a different kind of mounting. This is made for a three quarter inch panel. And um, if you look at this, um, here's the, the adapter that I made um, so that you can put screws through here that are mounting or the exact same match to this underneath, right? <clears throat> so here's a, a, this fits in a normal inch and an eighth uh, buttonhole, right? So this one's in an inch and an eighth buttonhole. This is what the adapter looks like. The, um, the knob that I have, I have it recessed so it will go over that. So it doesn't take up any extra space to have that. So if you look at this, the adapter is not sticking out at all. Um, you can see the inch and a half spacing between uh, a button and this device is probably as close as you can get. You can still get your electrical into this, but it's pretty tight. Um, and the other neat thing about this is this can be mounted in a lot of existing control panels. You need a switch? You got a switch. You need a rotary switch for um, Frontline, um, Wild Western, or Tin Star, you have it, but you still have the switch. So this will make it so that you can utilize it in a lot of different control panels. Um, you can see how much space it takes up. Like I said, this is an inch and a half spacing. And um, if the panel was half inch, you would just get quarter inch shorter, um, 632 uh, bolts. So anyway, hopefully you like this. I think it'll uh, make it a lot possible for a lot more people to utilize this. So anyway, let me know what you think. Bye.